today I have two new things to unbox from Amazon. Um, this one will be titled Amazon Favorites. Um, first thing is, um, no surprise, I've been drinking this for five years. I don't know if it's been that long, but at least three. Then Pellegrino, and this is the Iron Sita. I don't know if it's usually blood orange or orange. Um, it's really good. And I just unboxed two two crates. Came in a big, huge, heavy box, and a new item. And I did mentioned this in the other video organ organic superfood all in one super nutrition powder 50 organic superfoods with 1 billion probiotics and berry flavor and let's just get that close I'm going to turn it beautiful Okay, let's see. So, the benefits from this are um, one scoop. There's about 40, um, 20 per container. Um, calories per serving, 40 calories, 5 calories from fat. Um, cholesterol, zero, zero, sodium, 5 milligrams. Potassium, eight, 80 milligrams. Total carbohydrates 11 grams, dietary fiber 6 grams, sugars less than 1 gram, protein less than 1 gram, vitamin A 8%, calcium 6%, vitamin C 8%, and iron 2%. Um, that's not that much. Um, the founder, doctor, and cancer survivor, Andrew Abrams. MD created this and it says be picky with your protein um okay so the back says 50 organic superfoods in every serving organic veggies and herbs beets carrots tomatoes parsley brussels sprouts green bell pepper cucumber celery garlic ginger ginger root green onion cauliflower asparagus turmeric and cinnamon Organic green grasses, greens and green grasses, wheatgrass, barley grass, oat grass, spinach, broccoli, kale, and cabbage. Um, organic berries and fruits, acai, apple, cranberry, banana, mango, pineapple, strawberry, tart cherry, blackberry, blueberry, raspberry. Organic ancient greens, millet, amaranth, buckwheat, quinoa, and chia. Organic sprouts, amaranth sprout, canola sprout, milk sprout, buckwheat sprout, garbanzo bean sprout, lentil sprout, azuka sprout, flax sprout, sunflower sprout, pumpkin sprout, chia sprout, and sesame sprout. Organic fiber, 6 grams of organic plant-based fiber, 1 billion probiotics, and suggested usage is Mix one scoop into your favorite smoothie or simply shake or blend with 12 ounces of water or juice. And guess what I'm drinking out of? So I did want to prepare, <coughs> prepare and open this for you. I'm going to do it one handed. Um, I'm not going to be preparing the drink right now. Sorry if it's shaky. I'm using my armpit to open the container. Oh, I just opened it. It smells wonderful. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so. Well, it's not even open. I can smell it. Um, I was having a really hard time. I've been sprouts. Um, 
Albertsons. Um, I'm not anemic per se. I am anemic at times. You're really shaky. Um, um, and what's suggested is greens to help the blood, um, oxygen blood levels. Now, when I was working, um, I had a really hard time with my legs and, uh, moving because of the situation that I have, um, low iron, um, the scoop is full and it's upside down, so let me just show you the color. It kind of feels grainy. I don't really enjoy that. I enjoy juicing greens like um, wheatgrass. Here's a scoop. It looks green. It smells like berries. It smells delicious. I'm going to love that with my San Pellegrino. San Pellegrino is only 120 calories per can. It's a sparkling orange beverage with 19% um, orange juice from concentrated flavors. And let's see what the ingredients are. Um, water, sugar, orange juice concentrate, carbon dioxide, orange acid. Orange extract, citric acid, and natural flavors, and pectin. And, um, of course it has one of these. It's only, oh, it is. It's 11 fluid ounces. So, that matches the amount recommended by Dr. Is it Abram? Andrew Abraham is 12 ounces of liquid. Which are missing 0.45 ounces. But that's okay. Because it's going to be delicious. Um, tomorrow morning. That will be my breakfast. Um, I'm really super excited about that. Um, so let's see. Ooh, I know. I've had this book for a while. And I'm just now opening it and going over some more recipes. It's the Mediterranean Diet for Beginners by, forget his name all the time, Alexander Phoenix. Let me give you a close up. Alexander P H E N I X. Not Phoenix, but Phoenix. Um. <laughs> I'll read you the back. It's in the front. Discover the secrets to lose weight in just 30 days. In th Discover the secrets to lose weight in just 30 days. Diets with a meal plan and simple recipes. Easy and healthy to enjoy your food every day. Um. <clears throat> If you've always wanted to lose weight in a healthy and sustainable manner and have heard that the Mediterranean diet is one of the healthiest diets out and are excited to adopt and shed those unwanted pounds while enjoying some of the most delicious foods like pizza, hummus, seafood, and the likes, keep reading. You're about to discover the best way to implement the Mediterranean diet to lose weight and improve your health. Are you sick and tired of living on a restricted life and not being able to get through your daily activities without training because of your ever-increasing weight? Have you tried endless other solutions to shed some fat and to boost your health and improve your mobility, but nothing seems to work for more than a few weeks or months? Do you finally want to say goodbye to the mounting self-hate, worrying about potential illnesses, as well as experiencing poor physical performance and low productivity and discovering something which works for you. If so, then you've come to the right place. You see, losing weight naturally, progressively, and sustainably doesn't have to be difficult. In fact, it's easier than you think. The pre-dime study conducted in 2013 demonstrates that the 
Mediterranean diet is very effective in weight loss as well as reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease. Another study published in the JAMA International Medicine proved the effectiveness of the Mediterranean diet and weight loss as well as reversing metabolic syndrome, which means you can lose weight and improve your health without going through the pain of radical diets, overhype intense weight loss strategies, and risking negative results to health problems. This book answers questions like, what does the Mediterranean diet entail? How do I make the switch from what I have been eating to the Mediterranean friendly way of eating? How can I tell apart common myths and facts? How else can I benefit from the Mediterranean diet? How can I prepare healthy and healthy Mediterranean diet meals? How can I increase the odds of success with the Mediterranean diet? And many others are going through your mind. This book is here to answer them all and give you a doubtless and informed standpoint when you start. Here's just a tiny fraction of what you're, you'll discover in this book. The basics of the Mediterranean diet include what it's, what it does, what it entails, how it works, and more. How the diet has evolved over the years to become what it is today. How the traditional food pyramid compares with the Mediterranean diet pyramid. How to make the changes to the Mediterranean diet. What to eat while well on the Mediterranean diet, what to avoid eating while well on the Mediterranean diet, the facts and myths surrounding the Medi Mediterranean diet, the science backed benefits that come with the following with following the Mediterranean diet, the best Mediterranean diet benefit breakfast, diet breakfast, main meals, snacks and dessert recipes, shopping and meal preparation with simple meal plan to get you started. And weekly Mediterranean diet plan, diet meal plan sample, and much more. And the next, the ending part says, take a second to imagine how you feel once you finally lose the weight and improve your health, and how everyone around you would react to your new body. Life would be wonderfully different, right? If you have a burning desire. You there no matter how unhealthy or heavy you think you are right now scroll up and buy now with one click or buy now to get started and um i did purchase this book off of amazon um i pre-purchased it i've read it it's very good um let me um flip you through some of the pages it's not colored, it's not a waste of reading, it's very um, legible, it's almost like a cookbook. Um, let me see if I can find the sample, the sample, um, I believe it's in the beginning. Table of contents is huge. Um, <coughs> choking on my own spit again. What happens when you're overweight? Um, there's a chapter on breads. Um, um, it reduces Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, type 2 diabetes and additional benefits, how to make the change, the best Mediterranean diet breakfast, the best Mediterranean diet lunch, the best Mediterranean diet dinners, and shopping meal prep tips with simple, with sample meal plan. I'm, that's what I was looking for, 168. Um, that was not a Sample meal planning tips, meal prepping, um, shopping tips, weekly Mediterranean diet meal sample, 
Oh, here we go. Um. See how close I can get this. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on. I can't um, angle the book correctly. So I will read Mondays as an example. Monday, breakfast, egg white breakfast sandwich. Lunch, traditional hummus with fresh cut vegetables. Dinner, slow cooker Moroccan chicken. And um, that is not a shopping list. <laughs> And this, I'd really like to read a lot more to you. Actually, I could probably read the whole book to you. I don't know if that's allowed. Um, a weekly Mediterranean diet meal plan sample would include, utilizes a number of the recipes from the previous chapters. It also includes quick ideas for you to try. Fresh fruits, nuts, heat and hummus, Sliced vegetables with non fat cheese like butter or mozzarella, trail mix of homemade granola, nuts, and dehydrated fruits, smoothies made with non fat yogurt, milk, and a variety of fresh or frozen fruits, and a handful of spinach. Oops, sorry. Camera dropped. Um, this book is beautiful. Here's some pictures. Um, he does have um, a author following on Amazon I, and his own Facebook. I follow him on both of them. Um, I haven't seen a good number of people. There was at least 20 people on his um, group when I first joined it. So. Um, I think I was number 17 to get a book. I, it wasn't signed in. I was disappointed. Um, okay. Outfit of the day. Kimono. Or not kimono. Hawaiian. We believe it's Hawaiian. We're not sure. It was a hand-me-down. From one of my mom's friends. Um very flowy, perfect for spring. So, if anybody was curious, um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!